Little Red Riding Hood's Zombie Barbecue. Well, you don't have to watch much further to know that I already like this game and had very high hopes going into it that it would live up to its ridiculous premise and awesome title. And it has exceeded my expectations because this game has fantastic gameplay. If you carefully dissect this game just like you would a zombie with a flamethrower, you can see that it has a number of different genres all combined into one. All of which are good and it has a terrific old school style to it. It's like a combination of an Ikari Warriors style game and a vertical scrolling spaceship shooter like Raiden. And the control scheme is that very effective Robotron 2084 style of control where you move your character left or right with the D-pad or the buttons if you're left or right handed and you control where you're firing with the stylus. So the stylus in effect is acting as the right joystick. throw grenades by double tapping on the screen near an enemy and you duck by tapping your character. Very clever and effective use of the stylus in this game. The only negative is that at times it gets in the way of what's on screen. As you can see, Zombie Barbecue takes full advantage of the unique Nintendo DS split screen design. You can see enemies coming at you from the top screen, and you can even shoot up into the top screen. When you're pointing at something with the stylus, you're not limiting the range of the shot. It's simply acting as a joystick aiming the direction of your fire. So if you see something coming at you way in the distance, you just point that way and shoot at it. it. Takes a little while to get used to, but it's very effective. And what we're watching are some of the earlier levels. After the end of this review, I kept playing the game, and I just I really like this game. And it gets much more difficult. At the top of the top screen, you can see you have a health bar, and there's health power-ups that you can get to replenish that, but at times your character just gets thrashed. That there's toy soldiers that shoot laser beams at you, and you're dodging them. There's things throwing giant throwing stars at you. You have to duck under them. The gameplay here is simply brilliant. It's, it's really nothing new, but done so effectively. It's all wrapped within this demented fairy tale land overtaken by zombies. Famous fairy tale like characters are, are, are warped and mutated and shooting you and it's, it's just terrific. I think I'm on a streak of having mentioned flamethrowers in the past five or six games. There's weapon upgrades in this game which last for a limited time. Flamethrowers, laser beams, shotguns. And the music in this game is pretty kick-ass as well. It's just, it's all a really nice package. There's three different difficulty settings in the game, and I found that many of the levels will require repeat gameplay to master. Your machine gun constantly runs out of ammo. There's not that many upgradable weapons to find laying around. And all of this adds challenge to an already fast-paced, kick-ass game. For replay value, there's an unlockable boss attack mode and survival mode. Also two playable characters, the other player is a guy who shoots throwing star-like things. 
And I'm not sure of the specifics, but I can only guess that licensing games for play on the Nintendo DS is far more affordable for smaller publishers and distributors. And uh, that's, that's good news for all of us who like the old school style games. Games like this, games like Tokyo Beatdown, make the Nintendo DS one of the game systems worth owning. Little Red Riding Hoods Zombie Barbecue is one of the best games on the system. Up, right up there with Tokyo Beatdown and GTA Chinatown Wars. As I've said before, if you think it looks fun on screen, it's even more fun when you're playing this. Hope you pick this game up. It's a good one.